truly are the most powerful sentinel. Did you know that? But Lord Shu Enzite is more powerful still. So what? <laughs> if my body had been perfect, I could have won. What a shame. <laughs> Now what? Over to you, Celestine. 
You can count on me! This is the second chamber. He who wishes to pass must first face the human sacrifice trial. For the human sacrifice trial, your task is to protect the person of royal blood in the three areas of courage, bravery, and heroism. The instructions for this trial must be followed precisely. The person of royal part of blood will act as the sacrifice and stand atop the magic circle. Once that is done, glowing orbs in each area will target the body of the sacrifice. During the course of this trial, the magic circle will create a light of divine protection to protect the sacrifice from the ill effects of the surrounding magic. But when the orbs detonate, they will hurt the sacrifice. You must destroy the orbs before they detonate. In each area of the second chamber, there are four types of vessels that are triggered like those in the first chamber. Whenever a vessel is triggered, it powers a device that hinders the activity of the orbs. You should make good use of them. If you can manage to protect the light and the sacrifice for a set amount of time, you can proceed to the next area. However, if the orbs happen to detonate against the light ten times, it will vanish into thin air and you fail the trial even if your time is not yet up. If this happens, you can always trigger the activation vessel located next to the magic circle in order to generate a new light and try the trial again. If you are able to conquer all three areas in the human sacrifice trial, courage, bravery, and heroism, you have succeeded in passing the trial of the second chamber. Zephy, will you be all right? Yes, I'll give it a try. Princess, we'll keep you safe and sound. Let's go! Hush! 